don't cut this. I cut this by mistake because this tiny part is needed for proper work of the gearbox. Before going ahead, let's check whether the threaded bar rotates properly. I think the problem is in the screw nuts, because they may not have the correct accuracy. So we can't use this design. Let's go to an another design. This part should align with this.
Rotate the motor until this reaches the nearest endpoint of the threaded bar. Now rotate the motor a little bit in the opposite direction. Move this down until touch this. Okay, our electric linear actuator is ready. Before see how this works, I would like to make a brief introduction about this. Here I specially added a limitation system for the moment of this part, so I could improve the safety and durability of the whole system, avoiding unnecessary stresses. I used two push buttons and two relays to control this system. Push buttons give the input signals, and according to them, relays control the motor. You can see how this linear actuator and its limitation system works well. By the way, if we can use transistors instead of relays, we can make this look great. So if anyone knows a way to make this limitation system using transistors and any other small components, please comment it in the comment section. It will be very helpful for me and others. Also I use this flexible part to protect my push buttons, avoiding extra tightness. Okay, let's look a simple application, I use this. Okay, let's do a small test to determine how much weight this can lift. Okay, we can see this small linear actuator can lift 2.2 kilograms without any problem. It is pretty enough for this plastic linear actuator. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, like and follow my social networks. It will encourage me to create more interesting content.